Adele's heart raced as the old man's words echoed in his mind. The weight of his situation sank deeper, and the fear of losing everything he cherished tightened its grip on him. How do I prove that I'm ready? Adele asked, desperation lacing his voice. The old man stood up slowly, his transparent figure moving with an eerie calm. By facing the challenges that lie within you, he replied, his tone serious but gentle, there are battles you must confront, not against others, but within your own heart. Adele's confusion grew. What battles? What challenges? I don't understand. The old man gave him a sad smile. You will, soon enough. Before Adele could ask anything more, the old man began to fade, his form growing more translucent with each passing moment. Wait! Adele called out, panic rising. Don't go! I still have questions! But the old man was already disappearing, his voice a whisper as he vanished into thin air. You'll find the answers when the time is right. And then, he was gone. Adele lay in the hospital bed, the cold reality of his situation pressing down on him. He was alone again, with only the rhythmic beeping of the machines keeping him company. But the old man's words lingered, haunting him. What challenges could he possibly face while lying helpless in a hospital bed? And how was he supposed to prove himself worthy of returning to life? As he lay there, wrestling with his thoughts, something strange began to happen. The room around him started to blur, and the sounds of the hospital faded away. His mind grew foggy, and his body felt lighter, as if he was drifting away from the physical world. Suddenly, he found himself standing on the shore of a strange island. The air was thick with humidity, and the ocean waves crashed violently against the rocky coast. Dark clouds loomed overhead, casting ominous shadows over the land. Adele looked around in confusion. This wasn't the hospital, this wasn't reality, but it felt real. More real than anything he had ever experienced. He began to walk, his feet sinking into the soft sand as he made his way inland. The landscape was barren and desolate, with jagged cliffs rising in the distance. There was no sign of life, no sound but the howling wind and the relentless crash of the waves. As he moved further into the island, Adele felt a strange sensation creeping over him. It was as if the island was alive, watching him waiting for him to make a move. Every step he took felt heavier, as if the island itself was testing him, challenging his every decision. And then out of the mist he saw a figure. It was hard to make out at first, but as he got closer, he realized it was a man, standing on the edge of a cliff, staring out at the turbulent sea. Adele approached cautiously, his heart pounding in his chest. Hello? He called out, his voice barely audible over the wind. The man didn't move, didn't acknowledge Adele's presence. He just stood there, motionless, like a statue. As Adele drew closer, he could see that the man was dressed in simple weathered clothing, his posture slouched as if weighed down by the world. His face was obscured by the hood of his cloak, but there was something familiar about him. Who are you? Adele asked, trying again to get the man's attention. This time, the man turned slowly to face him, and when Adele saw his face, his blood ran cold. It was him. Adele was staring at himself, an older, broken version of himself. His reflection, or perhaps a glimpse of his future, looked at him with empty eyes, eyes that had seen too much pain, too much failure. You, the older Adele said, his voice low and filled with sorrow. You're not ready. Adele felt a chill run down his spine. What do you mean? He demanded. Who are you? The older version of himself stepped closer, his expression grim. I'm what you'll become if you don't change. Adele shook his head, backing away. I don't understand. What do you mean, change? What am I supposed to do? The older Adele's eyes filled with sorrow as he spoke. You're trapped, Adele. Trapped by your fears, your doubts, and your unwillingness to face the truth. If you don't confront them, you'll end up like me. Lost. Alone. Forgotten. Adele's heart pounded in his chest. But how do I change? What truth am I supposed to confront? The older Adele shook his head. That's for you to figure out. But know this. Time is running out. You must find the strength within you to face your fears, or you'll never escape this place. With that, the older version of himself turned and walked away, disappearing into the mist as quickly as he had appeared. Adele stood there, shaken, his mind racing. He didn't know what he was supposed to do, but one thing was clear. This island was more than just a place. It was a test, and he had to pass it if he wanted to return to the life he knew. The weight of his fate pressed down on him, but deep inside a flicker of determination sparked. He wouldn't give up. Not yet. With renewed resolve, Adele took a deep breath and began to move forward. Whatever challenges lay ahead, he would face them. He had to, for the sake of his future and for Alia. Adele continued walking, each step feeling heavier than the last. 
The island seemed endless, its barren landscape stretching out before him with no sign of life or hope. The wind howled around him, pulling at his clothes, while the dark clouds overhead churned, threatening to unleash a storm. His thoughts were a tangled mess of fear and confusion. He couldn't shake the image of his older self, the broken, defeated man who had warned him of the fate that awaited if he didn't change. What was he supposed to do? How could he confront these unseen challenges when he didn't even know what they were? Suddenly, the ground beneath him shifted. Adele stopped, his heart racing as the earth trembled. The air grew thick and oppressive and the wind stilled. Ahead, a dense fog began to roll in, swallowing the land in a suffocating blanket of white. Adele hesitated, unsure if he should move forward. But before he could make a decision, a figure emerged from the fog. It was a woman, dressed in a flowing white gown that seemed to glow faintly in the dim light. She moved with an ethereal grace, her feet barely touching the ground as she approached him. Who are you? Adele called out, his voice wavering with a mixture of fear and curiosity. The woman didn't answer immediately. She continued to glide toward him, her face obscured by the fog. As she drew closer Adele could see that her features were soft and delicate, her eyes shimmering with a strange, otherworldly light. I am here to help you, she finally said, her voice soft and melodic, like a lullaby carried on the wind. Adele blinked, unsure if he had heard her correctly. Help me? How? What is this place? What am I supposed to do? The woman smiled faintly, a serene expression that seemed both comforting and unnerving. This island is a reflection of your soul, Adele. It is a place where your deepest fears and desires take form. You must confront what lies within if you are to find your way back. Her words struck him like a blow to the chest. A reflection of my soul? He repeated, shaking his head in disbelief. But how am I supposed to confront what I don't even understand? The woman's smile remained, but her eyes darkened with a knowing sadness. The answers are already within you, but to find them, you must let go of the doubts that cloud your mind. Only then can you see clearly. Adele's frustration grew. He didn't understand what she was saying. Let go of doubts? How was that even possible when everything around him seemed designed to fuel his fears? Before he could voice his frustration, the woman raised a hand and the fog around them began to part. Slowly, the landscape changed. No longer was he standing on the desolate shore of the island. Instead, Adele found himself in a lush, green field, bathed in the soft golden light of the setting sun. In the distance, he could see a figure sitting by a small river. As he squinted to get a better look, he realized it was Alia. She was sitting on a rock, her hair blowing gently in the breeze as she dipped her hand into the water, tracing circles on the surface. His heart leaped at the sight of her and without thinking he began to run toward her. Alia! He called out, his voice breaking with emotion. Alia! I'm here! But as he drew closer, something changed. The image of Alia began to blur, her form flickering like a mirage in the heat. Adele stopped, his breath catching in his throat. No! He whispered, fear gripping him. No! This can't be happening! The woman's voice echoed behind him. She is not real, Adele. She is only a memory, a reflection of the part of your soul that longs for her. Adele turned to face the woman, his eyes wide with disbelief. But, but she's real. I have to find her. I have to bring her back. The woman shook her head slowly, her expression softening with pity. You cannot bring her back. Not until you bring yourself back. Adele stared at her, his mind spinning with confusion. What do you mean? I don't understand. The woman stepped closer, her eyes locking onto his. You are lost, Adele. Lost in your own fears, in your doubts about who you are and what you are capable of. Alia cannot save you, only you can save yourself. Her words stung and Adele felt tears welling up in his eyes. But I love her, I need her. His voice broke, the weight of his emotions crashing down on him. The woman's expression softened further, her voice gentle. Love is not enough if you do not believe in yourself. If you cannot find your way back, how can you expect her to wait for you? You must be whole before you can be with her. Adele collapsed to his knees, overwhelmed by the weight of her words. I don't know how, he whispered, his voice barely audible. I don't know how to be whole. The woman knelt beside him, placing a hand on his shoulder. It is not something you must do alone, but the journey must start with you. Trust in yourself, Adele. Trust that you are enough. For a long moment, Adele didn't move. He stared at the ground, his heart heavy with the burden of her words. But deep inside, a small flicker of hope began to grow. He didn't fully understand how to trust in himself, but maybe, just maybe, there was a way. Slowly he stood up, brushing the tears from his face. He looked at the woman, his voice shaky but determined. I'll try, I'll try to find my way back. 
The woman smiled, a warm, approving smile that filled him with a sense of peace. That's all anyone can ask. The first step is always the hardest, but you are not alone. With those words, the woman began to fade, her form dissolving into the golden light of the setting sun. As she disappeared, the fog rolled in once more, and the landscape around Adele shifted back to the barren island. But this time, it didn't feel quite so empty. There was a path before him, winding through the desolate land. It was faint, barely visible in the mist, but it was there. And for the first time since arriving on the island, Adele felt a sense of direction, a sense of purpose. He took a deep breath and began to walk. The Enchanted Island. Adele continued to wander through the abandoned island, trying to adjust to his new reality. He quickly realized that he didn't need food or water, as if his spiritual body relieved him of life's daily needs. This discovery was somewhat comforting but only deepened the mystery of what he was experiencing. As time passed, night fell and the sunlight gradually disappeared. The island was enveloped in serenity and silence, except for the distant sound of waves. Adele sat on a large rock, gazing at the star-filled sky, lost in his thoughts and dreams. While in this complete stillness, he noticed something strange. One of the nearby trees began to move slowly toward him. At first he didn't believe what he was seeing, thinking it was just a trick of the mind or an illusion, but the movement was undeniable and within moments, he was certain. The tree approached him until it stopped a few steps away. Suddenly he heard a deep, calm voice emanating from it, as if it came from the depths of the earth. Who are you and why have you come here? Adele hesitated for a moment but then decided to respond. I am Adele. I don't know how I got here. I was in the hospital after an accident and suddenly I found myself here. The tree spoke again, its voice filled with ancient wisdom. This island is not an ordinary place. It is a place for lost souls, for those who have yet to find their way. Adele felt a sense of relief, realizing that this tree might hold the key to understanding what was happening. What should I do? How do I return to my life? The tree answered in a gentle voice. First you must understand what is holding you back. This island will test you, placing challenges before you. Every tree and every creature here holds ancient wisdom. You may find your answers by speaking to them. Adele felt that this was the guide he had been searching for. Can I ask for your help? He asked, his voice filled with hope. The tree smiled. At least Adele felt it smiled, and responded, Of course, I will be your guide on this island, but remember, the journey is yours, and the challenges must be faced by you alone. Adele stood up determined to face the challenges ahead, filled with hope that he would find his way back. He knew the road would be long and difficult, but with the tree's help, he was ready to embark on this mysterious and thrilling journey. After moments of contemplation and conversation with the tree, Adele sensed something strange sweeping over the island. The winds changed, and the air became charged with energy and anticipation. The tree raised its branches and its leaves began to dance gently, as if welcoming the arrival of something significant. You are the awaited one, you are the awaited one, the tree repeated, its voice echoing throughout the island. Suddenly strange creatures began to emerge from among the surrounding trees and plants. Among them was a beautiful butterfly the size of a small dragon, its wings shimmering with rainbow colors, gracefully flying around Adele. He felt its beauty and magic captivate him, as if it carried a hidden message meant for him. Then appeared some mythical animals, each more peculiar than the last. There was a horse with golden wings, fluttering gracefully, its eyes gleaming with ancient wisdom. There was also a small beast, resembling a mix of a lion and a deer, moving with both grace and power, as if it embodied the strength of nature itself. These creatures approached Adele slowly, as if they knew him, as if he were part of their fate. Their gazes were filled with expectation, waiting for him to take a step or say something. Adele felt the weight of responsibility, but at the same time, a sense of pride. Why am I the awaited one? What does that mean? He asked the tree, his voice filled with curiosity and tension. The tree answered in its calm, deep voice. You are the awaited one because you carry in your heart the courage to change and the power of hope. This island is a reflection of what lies within you. You must find your inner strength, reclaim your purpose, and only then will you find your way back. Adele pondered these words trying to grasp their deeper meaning. He knew that the challenges he would face wouldn't be easy, but the presence of these wondrous creatures and the wisdom of the tree gave him the sense that he had allies and the help he needed. The island was filled with mysteries and challenges, but he was ready to face them, armed with hope and determination to return to his life and to those he loved.
Adele's face was filled with questions, prompting the tree to speak again, addressing the thought swirling in his mind. This is the island of emotions, and I am the virtue of giving. This beautiful butterfly is the embodiment of gentleness and tenderness, spreading warmth wherever it goes. The tree pointed toward the winged horse, and this horse with golden wings is a symbol of strength and purity, carrying within it the wisdom of ancient times. Then it turned to the small beast, and this creature represents courage and compassion, its strength lies in its ability to protect others despite its fearsome appearance. Adele felt a deep connection to everything he had heard. The words flowed into his heart, adding a depth to his soul that he had never known before. We are prisoners on this island, the tree continued with its deep voice. After the evil emotions joined forces with certain sorcerers to imprison us here, they cast a curse that trapped us in this land, unable to return to our original realms. Adele paused for a moment, absorbing what he was hearing. What must I do? How can I break this curse? The tree answered, You are the awaited one, the person who will free us. You possess a pure heart and an unyielding will. You must face the embodiments of evil on this island and restore the balance of emotions. Only then can you release us and break the curse. Adele felt a mixture of fear and determination. He knew the task before him would be difficult, but it also held the opportunity to achieve something great. How do I begin? The tree replied, Begin by understanding your own emotions and learning to control them. In every part of this island, you will find a lesson that will help you on your journey. Listen to the creatures here and learn from their wisdom. The butterfly will lead you to your first trial. The butterfly smiled, at least that's how it felt to Adele, and flew closer, its delicate wings fluttering as if inviting him to follow. Adele felt a warm hope rise within him. I will follow you and I promise that I will do my best to free you. The island was full of secrets and challenges but Adele was ready to face them. He knew that this journey was not only about rescuing the trapped souls but also about discovering himself and developing his abilities. Armed with the virtues of giving, gentleness, strength and courage, he was prepared to face the evil emotions and the sorcerers who had imprisoned them on this island. Adele climbed onto the butterfly's back, feeling the softness of its wings as it fluttered gently and smoothly. It lifted him into the sky, where his journey of discovering the island's inhabitants began, each virtue embodied in a unique bird or animal. The butterfly took Adele on a journey through the dense forest covering the island. Their first stop was at a large, beautiful bird, its feathers sparkling with the colors of a rainbow. This is the bird of truth, said the butterfly. Its feathers reflect purity and honesty. It always flies high in search of truths and fears not facing lies. The butterfly continued its flight, taking Adele to a peacefully flowing river. On the riverbank stood a gleaming deer, its eyes reflecting calm and serenity. This is peace, said the butterfly. Wherever it goes, tranquility follows. It can soothe troubled souls with just a touch. Then the butterfly landed in a wide field full of fragrant flowers. In the middle of the field was a small rabbit with soft, shiny fur, moving gracefully among the flowers. This is kindness, said the butterfly. It spreads joy to everyone around it with its smile and tenderness. It has an extraordinary ability to bring happiness to sorrowful hearts. The butterfly continued with Adele, and they arrived at a high mountain. There stood a huge eagle, its eyes sharp and powerful. This is courage, said the butterfly. It protects the island from any danger and never hesitates to face difficulties. It is a symbol of strength and unwavering will. Finally, the butterfly landed at a massive ancient tree in the center of the island. On its branches sat an unusually large owl, its eyes glowing with the wisdom of the ages. This is wisdom, said the butterfly. It knows everything about the past and the present and can offer wise counsel to those seeking guidance. Adele took a moment to absorb everything he had seen. The island was filled with embodied virtues, each playing a role in maintaining balance in this mysterious world. What's next? Adele asked the butterfly. The butterfly replied, now you know the island's inhabitants and their wisdom. You must learn from each of them and challenge them to prove your ability to break the curse. Your journey won't be easy.